anyone that's had one of those dreams as a kid, standing on the roof and just being able to launch off, fly, that's the best way of describing it. It's dreamlike. It's incredibly noisy, but dreamlike. <laughs> In many respects, I think that the jetpack is sort of the ultimate expression of freedom. It's more than just uh, a fantasy or a dream. It's, it's more than science fiction. It's something that we can literally do right now. The history of vertical flight has really been the rocket belt. And when a lot of people think about the rocket belt, it was lost in space. But, you know, the Jetsons. I think Gilligan's Island, they flew a rocket belt on that. Thunderball, James Bond and what have you. But Nelson, my partner, worked on that. Nelson Tyler, my design and engineering partner, is he's like one of the original Wright brothers. My dream was to be able to strap something on and go fly. I can tell you how it started. I was about 10 or 11 years old, and Buck Rogers was on the radio. And Buck and his girlfriend came out of a spaceship and flew with jetpacks down to this evil planet. At that point, at 11 years old, decided I'd had to have a jetpack. So when you think about it, I've actually been working on it on and off for 70 years. And I'm still working on it, but it's sort of hard to believe it's actually here. That idea of strapping something to your back and flying was developed around the time of Buck Rogers. We're talking the 1930s. But it was 1960s or so when jetpacks and rocket belts were only being built by government entities or, you know, like Bell built them for the government. Nelson Tyler actually saw one and said, I'm going to build one. And he figured out how to do it and using his own ingenuity, designed it and built it himself and got it to fly. But he's stayed in the industry since then in trying to overcome the obstacles that the rocket belt had. A lot of people think, oh yeah, you know, rocket belts have been around for so long, you know, since the 60s. The jetpack works on an entirely different concept. The engines with the jetpack are literally jet turbine engines. You're pushing out a stream of air on each side and that can give us like 10 minutes flight time rather than 20 or 30 seconds, okay? And that's just a complete game changer. This is the beginning of something that's going to be around for eternity, and it's only going to get bigger from here. This concept of personal vertical takeoff and landing, what we've created is really just the first tiny little micro step. My dream was so that I could just go fly, and I did that dream, and it finally happened, and now I want other people to do it. It all ties back to the old serials where the hero gets to strap on the jetpack and save the day. And I'm ready to save the day with my jetpack. How about you? It's like a dream. You feel all the energy that's going across the force being directed towards the water. And you feel your impact on the nature around you. It feels magical, intuitive, and it feels like you have superpowers.